so yeah just in the spirit of being a bit half assed or just saving extra effort that you don't need to use hi I'm Tangles this is my garage and this is my car all right so brackets reattached so I can do this job now uh, which is mounting the um, the wing to the boat which isn't as simple as you might think because this is a cams event the hill climb it'll be the car will be scrutineered so despite this being entirely good enough I reckon uh, it won't pass scrutineering so I gotta do something about it and I'm thinking I just might cut that away put a doubling plate underneath there with the aluminium I have and a doubling plate on top with more of the aluminium I have I can go get more if I need to so I've got the boot skin sandwiched on it's not gonna fit under that is it and I'm gonna close it Oh, so those bolts actually sit down uh, in between down there <coughs> without actually hitting anything. I cut the, all the ray section away and then slip the aluminium underneath that little piece, the bit that's there, and then bolt down over it. It'll probably suffice. And that'll keep some of this. Gives me thickness in that direction and gives the boot strength in that direction. To remove one way or a complication of just remove the whole wing assembly. Uh, what I need is let's go past here each side. It's four bits of mm, probably gonna work two because you can't remember there's a grommet hole just there. That this is spanning, which wasn't an issue because the hole went through the second skin <clears throat> and I managed to keep it in outside that second skin. But I gotta remove that second skin so I've got to put a doubler under here. Two will suffice. I don't need one. I was going to put one on the top as well, but I just don't need to. So, we go 20mm front and rear, 200mm. Two bits of aluminium, 200mm long. It will. We'll go under that skin there and tuck underneath that piece. So, we'll cut this away, slip it in there. So, here's a little. <coughs> Man, I'm still sick. Here's a still uh, little trick. Well, not, not really a trick, just. A little bit of common sense. These aren't cut perfectly square and equal. See that end's not quite right. This end is, is square. So instead of spending ages worrying about that tiny little amount of out of squareness at one end, I've marked the same end as both as square. So from here on in when I'm working, I'll always work from that end and it'll be the same end on both. So that way all my relative markings and distances will be the same despite this end being wrong. So because uh, it doesn't matter in this instance, the end's just going to poke out the end. Alright, so preparing for the scary bit, cutting the car. Uh, I just use this as an approximate template to mark. I've just traced it with the nicker where I'm going to cut. So remember, I'm just going to cut the inner skin away and I'm going to cut flush along that line there and leave this bit of the inner skin intact because it shouldn't be in the way. If it does get in the way, I can cut it off later. I can always cut more off. But the theory is I just cut that away and I'm able to slip that in while removing the least amount of material. Now lots of people remove this inner skin entirely as a part of light weighting. Um, but with the wing putting loads on here, I'd be okay with removing it over there. But removing it right where the wing is, uh, it's just going to mean the skin's going to flex more. So, Which means less of the downforce from the wing will get transferred into the body. I've cut the holes in the boot there and there. And now... I know they're going, so this is why we're doing this, remember? This hole slipped into that hole and just became a giant gap. Slip that in like so. And then slip that underneath that skin. And it does fit because I had it in there a second ago. There we go. Voila. And we bolt through there and there. And we're good. Simple as that. So I'm just going to mark this on here. We're we'll putting the marker through those holes. Oh, God damn it. Where's the camera at? There it is. That hole and that hole there. Drill them and then bolt it back together. Should be done. Okay, plates in. As you can see here, that's the edge of the aluminium there. That's the, uh, the two brackets. The holes there. Uh, and on the other side, it's the same. So, yeah, that sh should do the job. Can't see why that wouldn't work. If I put another one across the top, it'll help with the load, but. Um, like I said, for the time being, this will suffice. I'm 
would probably prefer to use angle across the top because that would give it a depth in that direction and give it some real strength. At that point, you know, how much return are we getting by having that pushed down on here because that's soft. You have to think of the big picture together. Uh, but that'll work. Now I'm just going to put the wing back on it. These aren't very tight. Mm, seem to be tight enough. I might loosen them a little bit. Put the wing on it. Bolt the wing up and then lift the boot, loosen these to let everything realign and settle with no stress. But well, I'm done. I did what I said. I backed these off, put the wing wing in, just got them started, then tighten these down and close the boot and tighten these up. That's it. Obviously, it's maximum angle of attack, which is probably enough. Any more than that, probably install. Job done. Uh, now I'm gonna undo it all and paint it. Maybe. I don't have to paint it. I'm pretty um, sort of over it at the moment because I am sick. Um, I still got a week before the event. I could do it one afternoon. Uh, but having the wing on there in its completed state is a bit more satisfying than having the brackets painted at the moment in my mind. I should probably at least paint these ones. They're not that hard to get on and off. And they're visible from the outside of the car. so. Gonna catch the screen in his eyes. Not that there's anything wrong with them, they're fine. 